It's okay. It's like for us, I think it's more important to be like, but who was accountable for it? Yeah, I think we are more about relationships than pro product. Yeah. In a lot of ways. So it's good to put that separately on. It's like a, a role, role focused. Um. So something that we don't talk about a lot, but I know is in like previous documented agreements with Giveth is like no discrimination, um, like especially being aware of like commonly discriminated against or like exploited peoples or, or like non-privileged groups. So like being aware of, of dynamics with, uh, with women, especially in the tech space. Um, so would you say we're color. actively anti-discriminatory? I mean, I would not say this organization is actively anti-discriminatory, right? but uh, like there, there is an agreement of, of like non-discriminatory, no discriminatory communication. Equal opportunity. So. Oh, of communication. Yeah. I'm gonna use what you said, which is non-discrimination. Non-discriminatory communication. Yeah. Maybe the last with that. Yeah, one. me too. I I I think I it's a good non-discriminatory communication. Because I think the it's like not that the structure of Giveth is inherently anti-discriminatory, but we've kind of at the very least communicated to or committed to uh, removing discrimination at the communication layer. So you can never communicate in a way that you're overtly discriminating against someone. Yeah, and I think it's sort of like something that we're able to fall back on, like if there, like when, if and when problems arise, it's like, hey, this has been in the agreement, it's on the wiki, like, uh, yeah. Are you still confused, Josh? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I see it as part of respect, but... You know, but I think so. <laughs> it, it has yeah. to be said, because for people who, like, aren't aware of discrimination and the experiences of, of discrimination, like, respect could mean to them, oh, respecting people that look like me. You know, and they don't even realize that what, like, you know, that ways that they think are fine to move in the world are actually discriminatory. It's the word, the communication aspect of yeah. respect, the way you convey it. So it's a subset, you could say. But we're still. Can I have phase. a concrete example, please, of like something that's not acceptable? Then that would probably help. Lorelai can be a real bitch. <laughs> that's an example. Yeah. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say <laughs> that, but now I said it. Yes. I see. <laughs> How does that discriminate them, though? Like that's uh, communication. Oh, they're, they're just being women. <laughs> yeah, like bloody women maybe is like kind girl. of discriminatory then? That's discriminatory communication? So. Yeah, or like, like I oh know. like I I don't wanna I don't wanna bring her onto the dab because like, you know, I I just don't think she'll be able to keep up. I mean girls aren't as good at dab. <laughs> okay, it's, it's that key last bit though, isn't it? Because like you know, we can say it's we, not always that overt, right? It's not. There's sometimes like grayer lines, and it's not something that I can define to you right now. No, but there's, um, there's many ways, it's a, a subjective, that's that's why I gave that example. I would not say that, because I find that degrading to like say that to women. Yeah, so but depends. like say if there was someone in, in our organization who like only had a problem with, uh, with like the non- non-English as a first language people in our group and they and you notice over time it's like wow they are like always rudely correcting them and they like don't want to communicate with them and it's like time and again it's only the people that are from like I from Latin America or from Spain one, or whatever yeah. and then you notice over time like this is a form of discrimination even though they probably don't even see it in themselves and it's not overt Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, language is good. Uh, I, I think that it, it might better fit like non discriminatory awareness or even the communication. I mean, it's oh, yeah. more. Solar, solar phase, phase, right? So I like yeah, awareness, yeah. Uh, I mean, because even, like, we can, we can be uh, discriminatory not by communication but by our act. 
yeah. by non-communication. By non-communication, for, for example. Right? To be like, I'm not going to live this person. Non-communication non is communication. Niggas. That's right. Yeah. Right. That would be something so. like <laughs> So it seems like we're getting kind of solar now. Are we ready yeah, to yeah. like... Can I just add a let's few keep, let's keep other things from the wiki? Yeah, sure. Uh, Lumio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah. decisions. Safe enough to try. Safe enough to try. It's definitely not an agreement. Nice. There's kind of this agreement that anyone uh, on the whitelist can make campaigns. I don't know, it's kind of like a... The whitelist is our, an agreement. Yeah, yeah. the whitelist. Whitelist, yeah. yeah. Or onboarding process. Okay. Yeah, onboarding process. Uh, like what about Unicorn DAC? Uh, that's onboarding. Um, that's kind of its own thing, right? Right. So we have this self onboarding thing, but then we also do have an onboarding process, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For DAP users? Or mm -hmm. Well, for DAP users and for Unicorn DAC. Right. I mean, there's even a process for like your first meeting, you're not supposed to, mm -hmm. you're supposed right. to be toggled off. Mm -hmm. right. 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 I don't know, these are like policies, but. Yeah. Whole accuracy principles? That we apply. Yeah. I'm surprised altruism hasn't made it up there somewhere. Yeah, I was just thinking that give, like giving spirit. <laughs> yeah. Give it. I do not associate altruism. <laughs> Decentralization. Mm -hmm. It's a wide one. Yeah. Sounds like a value, though. No? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah like kind of of yeah. I was I was about to try to compliment. Like, um, I think some of those are probably some of the core values of. Yeah. That everyone, like altruism, will be a good one, and also uh, respect, no discrimination. I think yeah. it's part of the core values that everyone hasn't maybe um, hasn't like been gridded on a like on a board or something. But it's something that naturally it's there. Using the DAP. That's one point. Oh, actually, and values in itself is also one of the agreements. We have a value manifesto. So, yeah. Okay, so remembering that this covenant is an agreement of how we are going to be together with each other this week. Communication, um, space needs, self-care needs, like... What are what are the agreements that we have? Are we a, are we a corporate retreat and you have to be here at eight a.m. and if you're not, then uh, then you're fired. <laughs> or <laughs> what are the lines? Right. Um, so, and this is this is a zone where we can add ones that aren't on here. And I think a lot of these on here won't make it to the this list, right? Like ones that are values, core values. Maybe if you really think it should be in, in the covenant for this week, then think of a concrete example of how it, how it relates to our, like, the way we interact with each other during this week in this space. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm in the corner. Is this the covenant for give it or just for, for this, this week? Just for, for this week. Just for this week. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the 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 twelve thirty is the ones that are like the is that the G two from yesterday where it's like those are the ones that you really really shouldn't miss and then the three to four thirty is the lifestyle ones. Uh, generally, yes. Generally, yeah. Okay. But like. But not necessarily. Everything is optional. Right. Like every right. meeting is optional. Well, is right. that a but the, then? And <laughs> in order so. to do really good work, we really want the voices of everybody to be part of what we're crafting. Right. So your choice not to be here withholds your unique perspective from what we're Yeah, and I think that's part of respect too, like knowing that we've, you know, put this space together, brought the lunches, uh, all of that, so that we can Put you guys all to work. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like the before and after lunches are the most important, and then in the evening it kind of gets less important. Mm. Or right, more right. Optional. More or more work focused. Yeah. More work jam towards yeah. the end of the day. Mm. Yeah. yeah.
So it's like everything is optional, but feel the FOMO. Yeah. Feel the FOMO. You're the communications guide, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so with this agreement, perhaps there the might fall, be a subsequent fall. one. What? Sorry, two people are talking, I can't. Um, so would we want to establish an agreement that says if the meeting starts at 12.30, we're going to start at 12.30 without you? Do we want to say um, we'll allow a 10-minute grace period? before we dive into the meat of it, do we want to say there's any meetings that we're not starting until everybody is here? What kind of agreement do we want to set around that? I would like to see the law of two feet, which is the right people turn up. And uh, if you need to go, then you go. Um, if you're not teaching, learning, or sharing, then you shouldn't be there. So go somewhere else, learn something else. This is kind of how most of conferences work. So yeah. uh, I, I kind of like to let, let you the facilitator just make that decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the facilitator decides ultimate has the ultimate decision on when we get started. Benevolent yeah. dictators. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it would be good to say like please try to be on time and then if not the facilitator indeed decides mm -hmm. whether or not. Mm -hmm. And I think noticing that there is a break before every single session, like right. a decent break, so you do what you need to do then. Yeah. Um, it's enough time to take a shower if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'd just like to maybe say to everyone who's who will be facilitating, including myself, I guess, that uh, we have, you know, carved out relatively narrow bands of, of the day for these things, so waiting a super long time for people to show up while it's the person's prerogative, like, may not end up being super productive, like, when all is said and done at the end of the week. Yeah, you yeah. decide. If you want so, to start, you start, you should. I mean, yeah. do we want to put start on time here? Or? No, I think it should be up to the to it whoever's running it, but I'm, I'm just okay. saying to all the facilitators, because we're all probably going to facilitate Aim to start. I will say, time. make your best try to, to start on time. Aim to start on time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Do your best. Do your best. Please try. <laughs> Please do not kill. Please do not steal. <laughs> Please try to <laughs> stop. Isn't it nice, though, that we're in a group in a place where we don't have to write that down? Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's a really cool thing. Um, Like benevolent dictators, yeah, or something along the facilitator. Okay. Facilitator. Facilitators call. Facilitator. <laughs> Facilitators make the rules for their yeah. session. Facilitator <laughs> rules. <laughs> taking a shower like you don't have to like put it on a schedule necessarily but when you're going into the bathroom yeah say hey I'm in a shower if anyone needs to pee real quick what about that one one showery shower shout shower shout yeah yeah like that. that's a good thing I always wanted to sign like an app that tells you if some is a it's all you see is so occupied. You just check it out. You just need a red light. So yeah. If everyone's asleep, then you don't have to, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Wake hey, guys, up. Wake up. Wake up. Do you need to pee? So what about during a session, uh, use of cell phones for non-session related stuff? Would we mm. want to ask people mm. to step out of the circle if you need to pay attention to something that's not what the group is working on, or is it okay for people to sit in the corner on their phone while there's a group activity going on, or is that still facilitator makes the rules? I think that's a good one to go up here, but maybe on the covenant we can put, you know, respect the, respect the... Stay with the group. Well, respect what the facilitator asks for that session, mm -hmm. like... Yeah, so it's still facilitating the room. Yeah, well, yeah. that's the intrinsic in the, the, in the facilitator. But, so that means it's something the facilitator needs to address over here. Probably. Yeah. 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 Right. 
and you know like standard um, and you said draw frame. something about like two feet in the room or something if you feel that this is not for you you can indeed also just walk away like when I'm now my laptop is just because I wanted to double check if the stream works but for the rest I'm here so I think it's yeah um, I would say like self-care at any time it's like this goes with every meeting is optional but like you can you can go to the bathroom at any time you can go make a cup of tea at any time get water um, and I think we can just know that that's in here but I want people to know that um, yeah Dan. what about music and volumes um. and bedtimes Upstairs lights are low at night time. What time yeah. shall we start all this at, you reckon? So Probably like, when Lorelai shouts upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> would it be would it make sense to put like a towel or a blanket over those uh, panels at night? Well so we didn't finish putting up curtains so that we have a curtain for that one oh, and nice. for that one, but they're not up. Right. And then we also have a we need to find a solution for these ones that don't work with curtains. Right. So mm -hmm. I don't know if we want to have a, a construction session to finish the job over there, but... Well, it's actually good that during the day you have some daylight coming down. Yeah, that's the nice thing about the curtains. Like, I just opened those ones. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can say that Arno asked us to be really conscious of the fact that we have neighbors and we want to be considerate of them with mm -hmm. our sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Small children. So after 10 p.m., lights and sound low. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Just um, what about productivity and like getting, yeah, like getting outcomes from this from this week together? Uh, what? Yeah. What? I feel like they could be good agree agreements to have. So. Anyone have anything to say on that? Yeah. Uh, so I guess a question more than some than a comment. Like, do you mean specific deliver? I think it would be easier to identify specific deliverables and say we'll deliver these rather than to say like we need to concretely deliver five impactful but not defined things by the end of the week or something. To me, it's part of that list as well. Mm -hmm. Like, if you assign a note taker right now, we have two note takers, so this meeting is not going to be an issue. For example, I mean, for for me, it's clear that there there will be have lunar meetings, but also solar meetings, and also whole day meetings in the sense that they will be including uh, uh, ah. Do we want to yeah, yeah. put lunar and solar no, on no, here? Huh? Lunar and solar on... No, I mean, it's already there. I mean, okay. it's when you define the outcomes or at least when you uh, start um, facilitating a meeting and say, well, I would like to see some outcomes, uh, yeah. you have to carry today. You know? but what, about, what do we want to say about shame? First, from the okay. previous, it's yeah. a good point. Like, maybe you should indeed put it on there, like from lunar to solar or go wide in the side. That 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 is like the covenant that we try for every meeting that we do. We're not just talking, we want to get something for the future of giving out of it. Yeah. So I think it's an important one to have on there. I don't know um, how to put it on there. One bit, little thing, yeah. I just... I uh, also, uh, the, it's, women are a little more prone to this, like this is really no... It's uh, because of high-pitched voices, mm -hmm. like if we all get excited, our, our dynamics of sound is not very high and we, we, we are talking like this, you know, but then uh, if we are excited and then it's, that is everybody, we start to be like, whoa, 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 you know, and we get louder and don't keep this energy up, like if we notice we're getting loud, just let's get settled again so we don't have too many like people oh, ripping up their headphones okay. at home. Yeah. We, need, we need a hand signal for that. Ah, yeah, I was um, just for people say with so. very high voices, even in the next room on a phone, it's like just. Um, yeah, they're there to speak up. I tend to go go very loud when I get enthusiastic, so I don't mind also telling like. 
<laughs> Can we do like a sound test right now? No, it's okay. Like, <laughs> uh, also, if I'm sitting here and on the dial, it's not such a problem. If you see me with the headphones right. in here adjusting, but right. if I'm not or we yeah. are getting too crazy, it's hard. We talk okay, can I say tone. soften the excited sounds? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just uh, don't get too excited. I mean, if you're, <laughs> if you're speaking to the group, do you project or do you want to keep it more like... It's no, it's just like the, the, the high range of sound. If, if five people start, and that's why we also have mm. these rules around conversation, right? Like right. If, if, if we start to drown each other out, like we are talking and you guys are talking and you guys are talking, we'll all get... Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't happen anyway. Yeah, maybe Someone. don't talk while other people are speaking. So I heard you ask two questions. One of them was about any outcome-based agreements that we want to have. Um, and when I think about you know what what we've crafted here based on what people wrote in their attendance form. Um, one of the things that we're looking at is that we're preparing to redesign Give 2.0. That we have some people who are no, not here in this room that have been a, a creative force in what we have right now. And then we have fresh new perspectives to help us define that. So like our overall arching intention here is to clarify our vision, our vision so that we all are in agreement what we're moving towards. And then our... You know, by assessing our strengths and challenges, um, reaffirming what values we're all using as we operate, we'll be able to redefine our goals a little bit and then our roles. So from an overarching agreement that we have, we want to have outcomes of a new clear giveth mission and mm -hmm. strategy to be able to communicate to the public when we leave from here or at least clear steps. To how we're going to do that. So, would, is there anyone who disagrees that that's kind of an outcome we want to have? Work on the overall give it vision. Right. So, Touch. have like a new clear mission and goals to excitedly share to the to the world, to the rest of our community. As hey, we were all together and we were really excited about these words that we agreed to. I I kind of disagree with that mm -hmm. because. Uh, I don't think that what we need is a new vision or a new mission. I think we need uh, follow through on strategies for funding and like product. Mm. I kind of disagree with that, but go ahead, Adam first. I've, in terms of like a way to actually have this as an achievable item on the covenant and satisfy different perspectives on it, is there a way that we could? make a list of things including uh, progress on funding, including uh, developing the 2.0 vision, including other things, and say that, you know, hold ourselves accountable so that every meeting must include at least some segment that tries to, or that either tries or does deliver something, like, to help actualize at least one of those items on the list. Be they funding or follow maybe, through on getting more DAP users or two. Maybe not so. every meeting, but like every day, maybe. Because there's like meetings like burnout and blockchain. I don't. Right. I don't think it would feel good to feel like you have to have an outcome. Well, not, not for those. Mm -hmm. Not for those ones that are like more lifestyle ones, but for because if if it's like we hold ourselves accountable at every day, and then it's like none of the meetings today ended up having that, and I'm like running the last meeting of the day, or not me, but anybody, then that facilitator suddenly has that, like, is accountable for the ball that everyone else dropped. Um, so maybe we could say, like, for specific meetings, they're exempted from that, but in general, like, the meeting should... Should every meeting have a deliverable? Um, Unless they're specifically Chris exempted. Had a... No, I just wanted to say, like, you have... I think we're okay because we did that part yesterday. We have a checklist for the meeting which has a very clear thing like think about the uh, outcome thinks about think about the action <coughs> steps and the action owners so in that sense like on the small elements that you give for example like when it's about if we have a meeting about funding which actually we should maybe still add we can think about outcomes for that but the thing that Danny said about like the vision of like 
I think it's a bit of a recalibration of the vision. We don't have to indeed like reinvent the vision of Kivet here. We can recalibrate with the new people and it's going to help to do all these separate steps in these meetings uh, that what Danny said. So I think it's like both. I'll, I'll just say that it, I kind of look at it like as an organization. There's, I'll use the terms from our systems thinking class. You have this guiding star, right? And we have that and that's not changing. But we also have the last year of learnings and discoveries that we're going to apply mm -hmm. to saying, okay, that's where what we were looking at. Now we're right here. Does it look any different? What might we change about that? But ultimately the outcome is we want to create a new near star. Mm -hmm. um, and get as much work done towards that as we can. Mm -hmm. So there's like a, a higher level guiding star and principle, which is our values and our goals, mm -hmm. that we're looking at those and saying, is that still hold true? What might need to change? But in the process, we're also actively developing the strategy and the steps we're going to take to accomplish our near star. Yep. Recalibration through the puzzle. Yeah. Who's got something to write for me to write on here from this? Because it's a good. This is good thoughts, but I need recalibration, to recalibration of the vision. Yeah, that's yeah. my proposal. I will say revision of yeah, the vision, yeah. yours. or vision yeah. for revisions. Okay, this is so <laughs> weird. Because, this is so weird because we started out talking about like like productivity and outcomes mm -hmm. with this conversation. Yeah, mm. is, <laughs> yeah. Is vision recalibrating the vision? Is that the productivity and the yeah, outcome? Yeah, for that sure. We want? Because that is that is a huge outcome, but the the there's the small entities that have the very productive outcomes, but the overall outcome is that we work, all these parts make part of the bigger goals and vision of where Giveth is going. Action steps are a smaller part. Oh. Yeah. This is lunch. Just hop in, man. Yeah. Uh, okay, I uh, just, uh, I think, uh, based on like, uh, what everyone said, like, I just wanted to, to get that, like, I think like, what you're referring, like everyone's referring to is to find, to define a path to get the concrete outcome of, of the development on the vision that is currently, uh, that is currently, that the company currently has, so, so basically, defining a productivity path to get the outcome is, yeah. is something like if, if because i feel you don't really like the word vision you could say define defining the productivity path is a way of like it's another way of saying the same thing I for think. every for every yeah. meeting or for every that's yeah, the question that's that's other 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 like, that, like that's I, not a clear I think yeah. on every meeting can be a, a bit of that, like in every meeting we can get like bits of it and at the end we, sh we can gather all the information and, and construct a uh, well path, like a concrete path that delivers results, like with the outcome of every meeting. I feel like I'm hearing that this conversation is kind of outside of the covenanting uh, list, so um, I just put this on the parking lot and I would like to do it during this session, but I'm hoping that we could just put a, put this like and put a pin in this for 10 minutes and and finish this mm -hmm. and feel complete with our like communication agreements and our interaction agreements yeah. and then we can move on to this. Okay. okay? So, yeah, Jenny. Well, there was just one thing that I wanted to say could be part of our covenant and it uh, refers to our conflict <laughs> resolution. Um, so oh, yeah. if we have an issue, address it with a person first, and then seek mediation if necessary. Okay, so a simple a good So yeah. how about like conflict is okay? Yeah. <laughs> address it one on one, and then seek, and then seek facilitation. Does that sound right? Um, and in case anyone doesn't know, I am happy to provide conflict facilitation support. And I know that there's others here. Danny is good at this as well, and I'm sure. And I'm happy to provide conflict. I was just. I <laughs> <laughs> she made like a small pause. <laughs> I'm happy to provide conflict. <laughs> 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 uh, It'd be boring if we don't have some.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is our communication pattern regarding speaking? Do we wait for facilitator to like raise hand? Facilitator goes yay to that, or I do we jump in on it? The facilitator decides every session. The facilitator makes the rules. We didn't really get ready for this <laughs> because session, right? it's nice to know whether you should keep your hand up waiting else. because otherwise people just jump yeah. in over you and you're like. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe right. Oh, right. Cool. Maybe if yeah. I. How about for now for the session? If I miss people's hands being up, Danny, will you keep track? And yep. Okay. Great. Um. So this one, I I love related to this is like lean into the uncomfortable, because we'll get better things done mm -hmm. if we don't shy away yeah. from that. Lean into the embrace the abyss. Embrace the abyss. <laughs> I like that one too. Embrace the what? Abyss. Abyss. The abyss. The void. The emptiness. Uh, another good one that I like is uh, is it is it uh, every time you're considering whether to speak or not, ask yourself: Is it necessary? Is it true? Is it kind? And That's a good one. Helps. Do you guys? In that order. Yeah. Please add that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. That far away. Yeah, I can't read so it. Perhaps a prefix for that oh, yeah. because it's maybe not encompassing everything. So, like, be artful. Like, it's the same thing, but I'm not sure. Right. Be artful? What do you be mean? Be Well, the same thing, essentially, but maybe with more things. Um, is, is just use common sense and good judgment to try and determine whether the situation's yeah, for it's it, true. you know. And that can break rules as well, unfortunately, but it, it's also sometimes necessary. And um, don't take things for granted. Okay, what does that mean to you? Um, this is like this is more like a a, a a personal request. It's not that I have feel that, but I know that during this week uh, I will see a lot of new stuff for me that maybe I don't know what's the background and stuff. So yeah. don't take for granted that when you are speaking to other people, the other will like understand. Done with your meaning, or dare to ask don't questions. Make assumptions. Or, yeah, that's better. because yeah, you dare don't, to don't ask. make assumptions and dare to ask questions because the other way around as well. We don't always know, of course, what you don't know. Something like that. Dare to ask questions. I like that. But what, both both what, sides. Don't what make you guys want me to write? Don't make assumptions okay. and dare to ask questions. Okay. We have don't assume left. what there to ask. Like we're here to ask questions. No, no, no. More the thing What's in the there. Like, there. There. There's a relation. There. They dare. are. They are. No, dare. 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 Yeah. Dare to ask questions. Okay. And don't assume. I really want to know what people will think about shame. I have a feeling that it shouldn't be written off because social pressures are what keeps people like Sensorica together and it's, it's, it's so like without like a reputational currency there is a thing to do with it although it's uh, kind of I don't think it should be berating anyone or anything like that but like social pressures are part of like the reinventing orgs kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's an appropriate wage if you're self-determining your wage and you go, I want to be paid two million like that, and then the rest of the group are like, well, we're on like this much, and it's way less, like, that's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Well, you can try set your salary that way, but it will cause some kind of tension and ostracization. That's the part of the... So don't, don't fear shame? Or well, no, it's, it's kind don't of... Don't run from it? It's a balance, I think. I, I, like, I, I, well... Because, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I know that there's already like a time blocked out for the like, what do we suck at thing, but I think like, maybe it, more useful than shaming, or at least a complimentary tool, like general self-criticism yeah. as an organization, not to be like, you guys fucked this up, or like, hey guys, I fucked up, I'm sorry, but... Maybe healthy criticism? Yeah. That's where I was going yeah. with this, like actively seek um, constructive. constructive feedback. Yeah. And offer. 
even if it's not sought, but this, yeah. this is not in a way that's going to be defensive and like weird. Defense. We we've got this thing where we want to hold ourselves accountable, mm -hmm. uh, but carrying that out to actually ask others to hold us accountable and hold each other accountable. And uh, yeah, this is some yeah. balance between shame and accountability, where like mm -hmm. and like, respect mm -hmm. hold others accountable, like we want to be held accountable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Help, I mean, maybe help out and clean up. My kind of just yeah. like yeah. cleaning up the kitchen and shit like that. Clean up oh. after yourself. And Do one extra dish, clean. that kind of stuff. That's you know what I learned yeah. from, from Danny? Uh, the sink is your last dish. So, if you're washing dishes, <laughs> you're like, I'm done. Oh, and the sink looks real gross. You left one dish dirty. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> For the previous one, I still just wanted to say like because we will come back maybe later at in the in the suck section. That sounds strange, um, but um, you asked about shame. I think a thing that we can do the way I like how I think you also saw shame is like do it in a playful way if you do it like more with like a, a soft smile like oh you're late again shame in that sense I do love it. It's like you can. Yeah. So maybe just being playful in general. Yeah, just being playful is good. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put that big. And I, yeah, I feel like I tend to just say things straight, like when I'm shaming people, yeah. and I'm I'm gonna maybe apologize for that in advance, but like I don't I I'll, I don't think I do it in an accusatory way, but like. To, yeah, like I. Oh yeah. As my own communication style, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't really agree with uh, your approach on this for these reasons. Not to be like you suck. Just like, this is where I differ. Yeah. But like, I don't make a joke out of it either. You articulation know? can be a tr tough one because you have to take into account another person's communication style and preferences in your own. It's just like. Yeah. Have you have you guys heard of wait sorry was there something you wanted me to write down from that? I think I was just like op personally opting out of playfully shaming oh, people. Okay, I, yeah. I will either do it straight yeah. or not do it. Okay. Yes, that was all I wanted to. Um, <laughs> have you guys heard step up, step back? No. No. So when you aren't speaking very much, uh, step up and make your voice heard, and when you're mm. speaking a lot, step back. And sometimes it's active stepping back. You can pull, pull up people's voices forward. Say, oh, hey, I think maybe Andre could say this better than I could. <laughs> Andre, talk. <Yep. laughs> okay, it's a good pattern. Um, are there yeah, any others yeah. from the this list that we really want to bring over here? Uh, mm -hmm. Well. The respect is somewhat, to me a super important one, but it's linked in with that step up, step back, I guess. So. Respect? We can put respect on here. Respect okay. for each other's like, yeah, boundary sensitivities. Oops, respect. respect. It's going to be respect. <laughs> <laughs> respect, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can Pre fix that. Pre respect. Respect. <laughs> I think that these respect. three down here are ones we really want to embrace, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like how are we inspiring the creativity mm -hmm. and encouraging it to learn from one another so that our collective wisdom can emerge, right. like I yeah. just feel like that's important to mm -hmm. celebrate throughout the whole time, like that's really how are we helping each other really be creative and um, is that, is that then, could you summarize that one as from going from solar to lunar? Or not? That no. will be no. like part it's lunar. That's all lunar, isn't it? Uh, emergence. No, oh, yeah, I think you're actually right. Like this actually defines the boundary between lunar and solar a little bit. Yeah. Like we need to use that creativity so that we can learn something and have our aha moment, which then provides the emergence. What, what has which emerged from the collective that we want to capture. The hardening of the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, curiosity is somewhere in there too. Oh, what? what is in there too? Yeah, staying curious. Oh, staying yeah, yeah. curious. Staying oh, curious yeah. is great. Um, there's one like what thing that Adam said about like um, and, and also the step up, step back and so on. Maybe it's an idea for like a session to do like you said, we have like a line of possible short chat sessions in between. Um, 
a sort of um, the name that I've heard for it. I think oh, is gold. Oh, is is a uh, is golden shower, but it's that's mm -hmm. that also means like what? being on someone else. No, it also means. Please stop it with the orgies. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> orgies and golden showers. That is a separate session. Orgies, orgies and golden showers. No, but I mean like a moment um, that actually what it could we could call it a moment of praising each other. But the thing that I find important in that is like um, you can say it in a more NLP kind of way is like mo um, what do you model from other people? Like um, what do you see in other people like in for example communication style or in the way how that person deals with such a situation and then you can like oh yeah Josh is like really good at like at like getting an idea in it, refined in its words in a way blah 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 I don't just invent something mm -hmm. modeling session from each other by like explaining what oh no I just it sounds to me like that's gratitude like I feel like we have oh. a gratitude in here and that's a really important piece but if like like Lorelai how with your rose we give roses to others like rather than just save that for that it sounds like what you're saying is let's have some focus time for showing gratitude for what we've learned from one another to raise that up a little to, bit. To raise it up and to learn from what the others learn from others. So, mm -hmm. so well, maybe it's part of the roles meeting then, I don't know. I want to close this covenant discussion because we'd like to talk about, um, yeah, about this productivity path that we have in the parking lot here. Um, and lunch should be arriving in the next... 15 minutes. Can we photograph this? Yes. Yeah, and do. take it off the board? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because I feel like we want to yeah, come up with some productivity outcomes that people would, mm -hmm. like what does that mean, productivity? What is a tangible yeah. thing that we could come up with out of this week? Because I mean, there's a few that are clearly already on the schedule. Yeah, and, and maybe, maybe if they're, I mean, do we want to make that a value that, hey, we're actually here to be productive. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, I, I think so. Yeah. 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 Most, I well, I don't. Yeah, on the covenant, sure, but also just like just if there's meetings that aren't productive, like no offense, burnout on the blockchain, that can be productive, but it maybe it needs that tone, that push to be productive, you know, mm -hmm. or it needs to come off. Yeah, or it needs to come off for sure. <laughs> I think that's. Very ironic. <laughs> Why? Because like burnout comes from this like you always Being need to be productive. That is true. Like, that is true. <laughs> yeah. So you're right. We should take it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so that you can so it. But I do I mean, get it. We could do that one in the evening. I, I I would come to that one any time that it, that it is. That is that is so, indeed something that is, I'm completely flexible on that one. Okay. Sorry for uh, it's really the men who are the loud laughers here. Uh, oh, yeah. So, so you found that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. so I was just the mic. No, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, that's a very <laughs> loud. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's Love a back <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> If I could share something, there's a balance that we're always going to be kind of doing this between, which is that we're all together to build our relationships with one another and to build team coherence and that spirit of sharing. And there's the productivity side of it that we want to be able to be focusing and delivering uh, what we want to deliver. So we're always kind of going to, that's that accountability piece, we're always kind of going to be checking how, to, how we feel and providing feedback to one another. On where are we at in our balance of, you know, self care and relationship care and tending to the work we want to accomplish in this time together. Mm -hmm. I don't want to overcomplicate the procedure of meetings, but I think to to achieve what you're talking about, uh, facilitators could at least have the option to think like at the beginning of the meeting what are the outcomes we want from this and then part way through sort of mentally at least check in with themselves and say like am I steering this now that we're halfway through am I steering this towards us having accomplished those objectives totally that's a great tool we could even use where are we at in our balance uh, just to, yeah, to riff on that um, a healthy balance between input and output input is hierarchical maintenance which is you know relational 
keeping up with each other's and making sure we're all good on nice terms, etc. And then outputs the productivity stage from that relationship. Right. So like if we spend too much in input, then we get nothing done. Like, but we're all great friends. Sure. Whereas if we spend all the time in output, we can go into the red zone and very quickly blow apart. Uh -huh. Adam. Uh, just to add a little bit to that idea, I think that's exactly how I imagined it at first, like a, a balance of, of it. It's important like to keep that pace of, of the lunar and solar need to be uh, a balance. And also, um, I see how I imagined it, it was like a short, mid and long term inside these two week or mm -hmm. well it's one week it's one week mm -hmm. so we can divide like the short terms will be each meeting and we can gather those those uh, knowledge but we need to define like a midterm uh, like outcome maybe like what what we want to achieve with this block with this block with this block and all these blocks together needs to actually define like actually a long-term thing that uh, actually a long-term which will be then a mid-term in reality but all right so the productivity path you're describing you know we have some checkpoints from yeah the, of course from the near star to the far star mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would it be helpful to look at this board and identify like i can look at some of these and say okay there's clear productivity on this like when we have our co-working session people are going to have their roles feedback completed from that. Like that's a really clear productivity item. Um, then when we look across it, um, this Personally, is more, I think they all are. What they are. So ethics of the DAP. This one we could actually end up with a guideline. If that's kind of, you know, you ask some questions when you propose that. So we want to answer those questions. Those answers will be codified in some way. Should we, should we just like impose this on a facilitator, like you have to define a deliverable? Define I deliverables. mean, this was a special one because it's the old question of how, what donations do we accept, what uh, campaigns do we accept. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, this feels like especially marked for policy, but I wouldn't go so far to tell everybody, every facility yeah. that they need. Them. Yeah, and I would rather stay away from that because then we can see which ones don't have a deliverable and if we're feeling like man I just haven't been that productive I need some productivity time today I want to skip this these sessions and I want to ask Jeff if he'll just co-work with me on this project that we've really been needing to do together totally so so the other one that I see that with um, and I'm just going to jump out here is like the website word crafting and the wiki work sesh like those two things, I feel like we'll have done some work here that a really good outcome from that would be, for example, the donation stream and contributor engagement pages of the wiki. We could actually have the new text that we want, the reformatting feedback coming out of a sesh either actually fully done or at least enough of it done and the, the rest of it assigned as action items to responsible parties. Also, I've been eyeing the writer's workshop as a good opportunity to mm -hmm. make concrete progress on stuff. Mm -hmm. So we can call facing. like these some highly, this is a product. The DAP management uh, session uh, as Andre well. has, has his hand up I already. Guess, I think that it, like, I, I don't know, I mean, maybe we can section it, like we can come to an agreement that what are the, the core things that these will achieve and we can like, what you were saying, the wiki, we can put like a section there, like the wiki and the dab and, the and then the divide this oh, yeah, right. by category like I will divide this by category and we can come to an agreement like okay well this is for this section this is for, just to visualize like what is exactly happening because I see this and it's, it's I well at least to me it's not I'm, that I'm not very familiar like I will I will just see a clear vision of what's yeah. exactly going on. But right? not, again, that's why I want to stress, like that's why we did the meeting prep li um, discussion yesterday. To me, I really mean like all of these will be productive, right? Now, for example, yeah. the wiki session is not a productivity session for me because there's no clear goals. I don't know what we're going to do. A goal session is way more productivity focused for me right now. 
it sounds vague, but the thing is, if in the beginning of the meeting so you say, this is the intention of the meeting, and I want to get to that outcome, it can be hyper-productive. Yeah, I, I, I think the, having, I think all of these can have deliverables, or yeah. goals, or something. In, Even the burnout yeah. session, that's my goal. In enforcing that structure, or providing that structure, I think can help align everyone who's in the meeting to actually produce that end goal. Josh? Um, so, S3 pattern would be clarify intended outcome, be explicit about the expected results of agreements, actions, projects, and strategies, and uh, this can be used to define the evaluation criteria at the end of the meeting. So you can create a concrete start of we want to get this out, and at the end we can review whether we actually met that goal, and that feedback loop mm -hmm. homes the meeting as we go forward with other meetings. It's, you know, it's, Building strength in Yeah. So, uh, clarify expect the intended outcome, I think, would be a good pattern. So, do we want to put that on our facilitator list? It's on there. It's on there. Yeah, cool. It's oh, where? Well, so, what else do we see on that board that has a clear productivity of all of them? So, I added the unicorn blueprint, which is in the line of wiki. The wiki thing is also. Productive. It's about writing on the wiki. Right. Uh, Which one is it? Like, is it That's yours? the thing. It's uh, or is it yours? Okay. There is yeah. more tricks than one for wiki. Oh. That's one. The wiki. It depends what the uh -huh. outcome will be and the intention, depending on how the rest of the week will have gone. So it's, it's right. It, it, it's but it will become very clear in a couple days. Yeah. Like, well, so these are. This is the emergent updating. part of it. Yeah. Yes. Could I just show like how I summarize for one second our meeting we had yesterday? on this because I put some pieces together. So all of these are questions you can ask yourself. What are the space needs? Is the stream set up? Um, then um, well, well, what do I want people to do? But then you say to the people, this is the format that we're going to do today. You ask the question to fill your audience and then you say, okay, this is my intention and this is the expectations I have. And this one is also preparation. And so it's this. And then you do the complete, you keep track of the fact that first you go wide, then you decide. And then when you get at the end, you can say, okay, it's 10 minutes to the end. We save, it's 10 minutes, so we have to stop, guys. These are the outcomes that we came to as a conclusion for this meeting. So let's not define this in action steps. Assign action owners, and we're good. And then you do checkout time. And if you do this for every meeting, and you follow that really well, or to some extent, you will have a productive meeting, and that's a graph that works for all the meetings. Okay, pause. I'm uh, done. No, it's okay. Uh, I just realized. I'm sorry. You still have food. Okay. Here. <laughs> so I. Oh, here, here. Oh, I I just realized, well, now the food is here, but I just realized I don't think anyone started lentils, which was going to be our protein. No, we do one have sandwich. ones in a... In, a, uh, in the can? Uh -huh. Not in a can, it's a glass jar. Okay, I guess that'll work. Okay. But still, like, I don't know, is anyone, like, really not engaged in this session right now and wants to go, like, start heating those up? Because the, they need to be rinsed and, like... And, and heated. Anybody? Sure, I could that. Okay, thanks, Jess. Um, and there's garbanzo beans too, so you can. They're they're all in a basket on the sh on the bookshelf full of food. The so gold just garbanzo, yeah. rinse and boil. Rinse and yeah, and just put them in a pan. They don't need water with them. Okay. Sorry, guys. I forgot about that. Do you have a question? Yes. So we shared the schedule time. yesterday and we put it together and now we're looking and talking about our productivity and outcomes and you mentioned that there were two things that we felt we might want to make some changes to address. Number one, to increase our awareness of productivity, but number two, is we don't really have anything about the funding opportunities and streams and I've heard that said that that's an important piece. I have proposed add to Michael like because we were talking about funding, I said maybe that's one you could put in the sheet if you want to lead that to have a brainstorm about like all sorts of alternatives for funding. He didn't do it, so I also want to lead it if nobody else does it. So I think it's a good one to add. Yeah, I think hitting that head on makes sense.
So is there like a productivity outcome around funding, like besides a brainstorm of different things we could do, is there like some sort of work session or like... I think it could end with assigning tasks or assigning, yeah, like have assigning people to uh, opportunities mm -hmm. and having them pursue them. Yeah. more work sesh times. Griff, mm -hmm. Griff and I were talking about it a lot. I'd love if you would express what you're thinking here. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, people here, or some, at least some people here, that would like to co-work with each other. Like, I know Jeff and I have a lot of things that we can work on. I probably have a lot of things I can work on with a lot of people, and, and so forth. So, I don't know if we want to block out spaces for that or it seems like there's kind of this like oh well you can just skip out on anything at any time but then that that gets kind of hard too mm -hmm. so I don't know if there's just like work times that we want to include or like segregate I don't know so I feel like at first when we did this 4.30 to 5.30 break, that that was intended to be time for like small person breakout groups and then yeah. there were many that were identified as so they're kind of written in on that but the intention of that hour was to leave time for people to have their small uh, workout sessions that would probably then lead to what if we dinner, move? But. What if what if we just move all of these then to evening things? To after seven. Yeah. Despite the the, the group picture, I know needs daylight, so that one doesn't need to be moved. But I would love to say like all of these things that are in the four thirty to five thirty block. If you want to make them happen, then you attract people to do them with you after seven. Is are people okay with that proposal? Mm -hmm. So any any objections? So that's the unicorn blueprint. It, well, the, the prog design can't. Is that a scheduled thing with somebody? What was it again? Oh no, that's a, that, that's not it's even. Scheduled. It's not scheduled yet. No. So. So yeah, of course you can take it. Okay, so mural, unicorn blueprint, prog design, and and event. Unicorn blueprint. Okay. Our group pick might blueprint. need to be during daylight, so I don't think that can move down. Yeah, exactly. Need to go up. Although then it moves into that golden light hour, and right? maybe. Okay, so no objections to that? No. Nope. And the assumption, okay, the second part of that proposal is we assume 4.30 to 5.30 is uh, either solo working or co-working time. So uh, encouraged to be like buddy time. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. partner, partner uh -huh. working. Uh, and, and maybe during lunch as well? I mean, I'm not going to make assumptions on lunch time, like... I'm we sure, did I'm do sure that for goals. Sometimes, on the goals day, we're assuming yeah. that um, we'll so have, we're working we're, through lunch. We're going to work through lunch. Like at lunch, we'll be sharing what are the different circles or breakout groups came up with and consolidating. Mm -hmm. um, what was I going to say? Could we add oh, yeah. the funding somewhere? Yeah, and maybe we can. Maybe we can add funding. Um, I think ethics of the DAP is not going to be a long one. I don't see anything else there. So one thing is that um, Lansky is pretty interested in funding, and he's coming. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. On the 4th, which I believe is, what, Tuesday? Yeah. Um, so... I mean, we can have multiple funding sessions. Oh, true. Like, it is kind of the most important piece. Yeah. Or, or I mean, it should, almost, it should almost be an overlay on everything, like... I mean, it's, that's the annoying, sad piece of this, you know, is that we can hang out all we want, but who's paying us to hang out? Mm -hmm. Well, to me, it's, it's a part of everything in the sense if we have clear goals and we have all these things, it's way easier to build a good pitch deck of why we could have funding if we mm -hmm. have all these elements written out and documented. 
But the thing that I was thinking of was a sort of um, funding brainstorm, like where, what are, what are like, um, how do you call it, low hanging fruits, things that we should actually assign to someone to do, and what are other ways that we haven't done that other projects do to get funding and like, all these things, like an open discussion and to go to a lunar, a solar phase. Yeah. So I'm hearing we need one one big group funding discussion and probably other like smaller group funding times. Yeah, or so, dedicated team, not, not yeah, everyone dedicated, has to be yeah. in the funding yeah. meeting. Yeah, totally. Um, do we need one funding meeting time where everyone's in it? Maybe it can be one of the later in the day things. I'm feeling that like almost like a lunch con or a dinner. Yeah, I, I feel like A lunch or dinner? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be like or dinner brainstorming. Okay. Yeah, that, I, I guess that will be the beginning be brainstorming, for, like for the first one. But after yeah. that, ideally, yeah. it's it actually some concrete. action yeah. and execution time together. Well, that requires not during dinner. Okay, yeah, so that, yeah, yeah. Well, are people okay with? Uh, I'm curious if we could put funding here as uh, like simultaneous to these, or is someone like? I really need to be in both website and funding. What is the website word? What is that? Website word crafting. I don't so, know. like the initial intention okay. is that I created an issue and made updates because right now the donation page when you when you tell somebody go to check us out at Giveth, our donation page and our get involved page are there's lots and lots of information there but the buttons aren't really readily available is that something that we can do in a work so work it, it's literally together? an issue that i've already created and kai has started on it and then he said chris i'd like your input on this language so it's literally like solving that issue and giving kai the updates he needs to so revise it sounds like it's not pages. a it's not a everybody thing it's not but it would be me and i would want to be in funding too okay so can so you I'd do that, that in the person. evening can you do website word in the evening? I think so. That's one of the post-its. Okay. This is a photo post that we yeah, should Yeah, totally. Oh, so. Where are those po It's a good time to start. <laughs> Woo! I love Henry. <laughs> okay, so we're doing some of these, like, uh, breakout sessions in the evening then, so a lot of the working sessions. Are going to be after 7, after, after seven dinner. as well. Uh, yeah, I'm between 4.30 and 5.30, all good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so funding. There's going to be a funding breakout session on Wednesday. It's going to be simultaneous to give it World Vision, and people are going to have to be okay with, with making that choice. Um, okay, when, when else do we want to factor funding into the schedule? Like maybe, maybe when you guys are doing your dinner, maybe you'll want to like have that be the dinner conversation is like a funding brainstorm over curry. Sure. As the initial. Yeah, bring the storming time. If that's the only possibility, yeah. I know you put it there uh, already as a meeting spot. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. And do we want to factor in any other time slots for it that are like specific on the sketch? Uh, it would just be nice if that's always just kind of a consideration too. Right, like, okay, someone will pay us to do this, you know, like, we believe, you know, because I know, Josh, you had some consulting ideas, and yeah. feel like... Uh, I've got, got a huge list of funding opportunities just ready to bash out, like, yeah. you know, XPRIZE, all those kinds of things. I've just collected them over the last seven or eight months from anywhere I see them crop up. Mm -hmm. So, like, if it down, pick one and just go... Yeah. And, uh, hey, what, what are we saying here? Oh, okay, cool. Well, what, what about this? Because there's always a back and forth over the funding proposal things and the uh, no boat or yay boat, <laughs> those kinds of things, you know. Uh, so, like, if we can be in the same room as we're all mm -hmm. kind of taking one funding opportunity and then we can consult with each other locally very mm -hmm. easily to just bash out a document each. I feel like there's some strategic steps and moments that are going to happen in our schedule, like the naming piece of it and defining the DAP roadmap aspects that are going to really clearly map to something we can produce to give to funders, potential mm -hmm. funders. Mm -hmm.